Welcome to AutoSpec. Today we're exploring one of the fastest and most awe-inspiring jets of the Cold War era. The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25 Foxbat. Designed with an uncompromising focus on speed and altitude, this Soviet aircraft stood as a formidable answer to American advancements in aviation. Origins and Development the MiG-25 was born out of the intense Cold War arms race. In the 1950s, the US developed high-speed bombers, prompting the Soviet Union to create a jet capable of intercepting them. The design requirements for this aircraft demanded a high-speed, high-altitude, and long-range interceptor that could match the threat posed by US bombers like the XB-70 Valkyrie. The MiG-25 development, initiated by the Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau, was formally approved in 1961, with its first test flight occurring in 1964. Structural Design and Materials The MiG-25 structure is unique in that it uses 80% nickel steel alloy, unlike the lighter aluminum used in most contemporary jets. This choice was dictated by the high-speed requirements and the inability of aluminum to withstand the extreme heat generated at speeds above Mach 2.8. While effective, this heavy steel construction affected the aircraft's agility and increased its weight significantly. The plane also included a small percentage of titanium and aluminum in critical areas to balance durability and weight. Its structure prioritized straight lines and large, flat surfaces, giving it a boxy look compared to more streamlined jets. The wing design, featuring high-mounted trapezoidal wings with a low aspect ratio, was tailored to maintain stability at supersonic speeds, even though it reduced its maneuverability. Engines and Performance Capabilities The MiG-25 is powered by two Tomansky R-15B-300 afterburning turbojet engines, each capable of producing 22,494 pounds of thrust with afterburners engaged. The R-15B-300 engine's design supports the MiG-25's goal to intercept and outrun incoming threats rather than engaging in dogfights. These engines allow the MiG-25 to reach speeds of up to Mach 3.2, about 2,190 miles per hour, in short bursts, but pilots typically restricted the jet to Mach 2.8 to avoid damage from excessive heat, which could degrade the engine's lifespan. Despite the speed, the MiG-25's fuel consumption was substantial. At top speeds, its tanks could deplete rapidly, necessitating it to refuel mid-air if operating at its highest potential for extended missions. Its range without refueling is around 1,730 miles, and at lower speeds, it could cover more ground, supporting its reconnaissance missions. Radar and Avionics Systems The RP-25 Smirche radar in the MiG-25 was one of the most advanced systems in Soviet aircraft during its time. This radar was specifically designed to detect fast, high-flying targets, a critical feature given the MiG-25's primary role as an interceptor. The Smirche radar could lock onto targets at a range of up to 100 kilometers, detecting high-speed threats far ahead. Additionally, the MiG-25 included a limited autopilot system, which simplified straight-line flight, crucial for high-altitude missions. While its avionics were adequate for tracking and intercepting bombers, it lacked the sophistication seen in later Soviet and US fighters designed for versatile combat roles. Armament and Combat Role The MiG-25 was primarily armed with four R-40 AA-6 Acrid missiles, a mix of radar-guided and infrared-guided variants. These large, powerful missiles were designed specifically to intercept fast-moving targets at high altitudes, aligning with the MiG-25's strategic purpose. Unlike most fighters, the MiG-25 did not carry an onboard cannon due to its intended role as a high-speed interceptor. Its mission profile involved approaching a target, launching missiles, and using its speed to escape quickly, rather than engaging in dogfights. Reconnaissance and Surveillance Roles Beyond interception, the MiG-25 saw extensive use as a reconnaissance aircraft, especially in the MiG-25R and MiG-25RB variants. These versions carried high-resolution cameras and additional electronic sensors instead of missiles, allowing them to conduct strategic surveillance from extremely high altitudes. During the 1970s, it conducted high-risk reconnaissance over the Middle East, where its altitude and speed allowed it to avoid enemy fighters and anti-aircraft missiles. Operational History and Achievements First revealed to the world in 1967, the MiG-25 initially baffled Western analysts, 
who overestimated its agility and combat potential. This jet's first notable combat test came during Middle Eastern conflicts, particularly in the Yom Kippur War, where it performed reconnaissance missions for the Egyptian Air Force. In 1976, Soviet pilot Viktor Belenko famously defected to Japan in a MiG-25, allowing Western powers to closely examine it for the first time. The examination revealed the MiG-25's limitations in agility but confirmed its reputation as a high-speed interceptor. This event directly influenced the design of the US F-15 Eagle, intended as a response to the MiG-25's performance. Limitations and Criticisms While exceptional in speed, the MiG-25's design came with compromises. Its limited agility made it ineffective in close-range combat, and its extreme fuel consumption curtailed its operational range at high speeds. The MiG-25's role was increasingly overshadowed by more versatile aircraft like the MiG-31, which was developed to address the MiG-25's limitations with advanced electronics and greater efficiency. Legacy and Continuing Influence the MiG-25 is one of the few aircraft that could fly at Mach 2.8 for extended periods, setting numerous speed and altitude records, some of which still stand. Its legacy lies not only in its operational impact but also in the influence it had on Western aircraft development. The United States was inspired to advance its own aircraft capabilities, leading to the creation of the F-15, an aircraft with greater flexibility and close combat skills. Today, only a few MiG-25s remain in service in countries like Syria and Algeria. Even in retirement, the MiG-25 is remembered as a remarkable engineering feat, a fast and high-flying answer to the demands of Cold War aviation. Thank you for joining us on Autospec for this extended look at the legendary MiG-25 Foxbat. Its unmatched speed and altitude capability made it one of the most significant jets of its time. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into iconic machines from automotive to aviation and beyond. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated.